Jake Paul, March Lincoln Bile. Where have you been? I've been here. I've been here. I've been right there at all hours of the day, drinking out of my off-brand Stanley Cup. To put it quite simply, I've been vibing. For the past couple of months, I've been like deep in the world of book talk, bookstagram, booktube, you name it, I'm there. All of my YouTube checks, unfortunately, have been funding my addiction to books, so please keep watching my videos. Thanks. While I've been away from you, I apologize by the way, I have been fully immersed in the world of book talk specifically. Like out, out of all three of the things I just listed, I'm on book talk the most. I love watching people passionately talk about the books that they are reading and I found some really good books just based off of people talking about them all the time. I'm the type where I need somebody to encourage me to read something. And so if I keep seeing the same book floating around in my face so much, I will eventually pick it up. That's exactly what happened with The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I'm not that far into this. So I'm, I'm literally only on page 32. Not really that far into it yet, but I have seen this book a lot and that's the reason why I bought it. I need that endorsement because I don't, I, I get so nervous when I buy a book and I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, or I don't know anything about it. I'm just, I'm not the type to spend money on books when I don't know what I'm getting myself into, you know? Or if I don't even know if people actually like the fucking book or not. And then I just wasted money. I digress. I'm sorry. I got a little too into that. <laughs> Let's back it up a little bit. And so I'm not gonna bore you with the details, even though I literally just bored you with the details, but I'm not gonna further bore you with the details. But one book that comes to mind <laughs> while we're on the topic, while I'm talking about it, I don't have a physical copy of this book, unfortunately, but I will get my hands on one eventually. Trust. The UK cover of this book is so beautiful and I need to buy it. But I'm talking about Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. It's so good. It's such a good book. It's basically a British version of Gossip Girl. It's so good and I love it so much. So if you like messy, toxic bullshit, I cannot praise it enough. It's really that good. However, it does have a cheating trope in it. But like all of the characters are so unlikable. So it's like, eh, it's fine. It's fine because I hate cheating tropes when I actually like the characters. It's because I don't like any of the characters. I'm having a great time. As comforting as the book community has been for me, it's not without its faults, unfortunately. And we have to talk about something that I have witnessed in 4K. I was there, I was at ground zero. It was a bloodbath. Let's get into it. The short version of the story <laughs> is that a bunch of grown ass women were recommending smutty books to a child, a literal child, a minor. I'm sorry for shouting, but I'm about to do it again. A minor. Okay, now here's the long version of the story. <laughs> for whatever reason, the motorcycle community on TikTok has been infiltrating a particular side of book talk, which is specifically the romance readers, more specifically the dark romance readers. If you are not aware of what dark romance is, don't worry about it. <laughs> use your imagination. Actually don't, but use your imagination. And whatever you're thinking of, the answer is probably gonna be yes and then some. So that's all you're gonna get out of me. I guess tatted up men on bikes is kind of like the new thing now. I'm not knocking the lifestyle necessarily. I definitely, <laughs> I definitely see the appeal, but the helmets make me nervy. Like not to sound shallow, but it's all fun and games until the helmet comes off and there's a balding gremlin in your mitts. Like masks, they're always fun until they're not. I'm, I'm just, I'm scared. No, I don't care how good your body looks, babe. If the face card is declining and it's in debt, it's not gonna work. At least I have the guts, the dick and balls to say it out loud. Woman on book talk, and when I say women, I mean the ones with a mortgage and 2.5 kids and a full-time job. They're the ones that are drooling over the men on bike talk. Usually some dude will post a video about how they bought like a random dark romance book and the dark romance girlies come in herds. They are anything but subtle about their intentions. This in itself isn't an issue because these men are above the age of 18 and they're the ones holding up a copy of Haunting Adeline. Therefore, you know, they, they knew what they were asking for. They, nay, nay, they knew what they were getting themselves into. Hey. So I originally wasn't going to add this to the video because I just didn't think it was necessary, but I just want you to know what we're, what we're working with here. So 
I mentioned Haunting Adeline just now. Do you want to know the trigger warnings for Haunting Adeline? This is for this is for those who aren't in the know. So Haunting Adeline is a really popular dark romance book on Book Talk. Um, the contents are very dark with triggering situations such as non slash dub con between the main characters, graphic violence, human trafficking, stalking, child trafficking child sacrifice, mentions of child death, and explicit sexual situations. There are also particular kinks, such as gunplay, somnophilia, that's a big word for Elmo, bondage, and degradation. 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 I can say that. I know how to read. Yeah, and at one point, uh, this book was taken down due to the warning. So I've read this book personally because I'm the type where it's like, when I hear, I heard all of that, I was, I'm nosy. Unfortunately, I am nosy. I had to figure it out. I had to figure out what we were working with. I'm a pretty big girl. I can handle my own, but that, that, this book, this book should, <clears throat> like, I, I side eye people who actually genuinely like this book. I, I I just read it for the experience, quite frankly. But I, oof, that's too much, man. Bojack reference in the video. Unfortunately, recently, a video was posted by a 16 year old boy who just so happened to own a motorcycle. Uh, anyone who posts motorcycle content is becoming a victim to the romance side of book talk and usually the motorcycle people, they either ignore it or they pander for views, which isn't a bad thing. Pander away. Um, I'm not going to show you the video of the 16 year old necessarily because I don't want to set them up. I don't, I just don't worry about that. That's not, that's no. But the kid, it, it was, he was making a joke about how book talk is like obsessed with motorcycle people now. And he was showing the books that he likes to read. And the books in question were, <laughs> The Hunger Games, the like the like the entire series and the entire Mage Runner series, and yeah, that was it. That was the video, and he's posted like other videos, but for the most part, he's like, "Yep, I like Katniss Everdeen, and I like Dylan O'Brien." I don't know, I, guys. I tried to get into the Maze Runner. I really did. I was so bored. Then again, I was like twelve, but I was bored. Maybe I should try again. It's too late to get into the hype now. Uh, I missed out. But the comment section under the 16 year old boys video, it was a disaster. The entire comment section was just a shit show. So much shit. And there were two reasons why it was terrible. And I'm gonna start with the lesser of the two evils, if you don't mind. A lot of the comments were infantilizing the shit out of this boy because he was pure and innocent for liking the Hunger Games and Maze Runner. If I saw those comments out of context, I would have thought that homeboy was showing off his Junie B. Jones collection and, and was holding up a copy of Green Eggs and Ham. Like the Hunger Games and Maze Runner are perfectly acceptable books to read, especially when you're 16 years old. Huh? Since when was the Hunger Games not a real book? I'm so confused. The, the comments were just super pretentious on that and because for whatever reason, those aren't real books. <laughs> now my second issue with the comments were the disgusting things that people were saying to the 16 year old boy. A lot of grown ass women we're recommending him to read various eroticas and dark romance books. <laughs> I'm not laughing, this isn't funny. There were even comments telling other people not to corrupt him or break him in like a bad back. Don't laugh, that's not funny. It, 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 it was just, it was so, it was just, it, let me go. Let me go. Like I couldn't find a lot of like these really depraved comments out in the wild because thankfully it, it's been buried under an influx of comments calling people out, thank God. But I watched various other TikTokers talk about this and apparently it was really bad. Like some of the comments they were like really, really, really bad. 
and the cherry on top of this shit sandwich is that this kid had his age in his bio. It's me again. It's me again. Okay, so about the age thing, I should have clarified this in the video. My apologies. But I don't know when he added the age. I don't know if his age was always in his bio or if he ended up adding it later down the line. But there were comments that were commenting on his age and the age had already been added to the bio. And they were still making those comments. So and then he also made a, a follow-up video clarifying his age. So... I don't know, maybe it can give some people the benefit of the doubt and say that this, this age may not have actually been in his bio until later down the line, but that doesn't excuse the uh, all of them. That excuse a small percentage of y'all. I got my eye on you. <laughs> it takes two seconds to age check somebody. Two fucking seconds. All you have to do is swipe right and there it is. And did nobody bother doing that? Like if you're about to leave a raunchy comment under someone's post, the least you can do. The least you can do is at least try to identify the age. Just to like, did you even try? No, they didn't. The answer is no. The answer's no. Why am I asking? The answer's no. And when some of these women were called out for what they were doing, their rebuttal every time without fail, like make a drinking game out of this. You will get alcohol poisoning. But their rebuttal every time was, I didn't know his age. Do you check the age of every person you see online? If I'm about to publicly thirst over someone online, then yes. Of course I'm gonna check their age because I don't wanna accidentally thirst over a minor. I need a drink. I don't even drink and I need a drink. Oh my God. Book talk in its entirety has been very divided lately due to the unhinged nature of the loud minority. For whatever reason, some r dark romance readers think that their corner of the internet is the only corner that exists and that was proven by the comments under that child's TikTok. When people say book talk, they're referring to all the books of all genres. The smut readers are not the majority of what book talk is, but it certainly feels that way sometimes because they're the ones who usually get like the most attention and most views. It's really weird. It's really weird. I can go on a whole tangent about how women who only read smut are slowly becoming the female equivalent of men with Pornhub addictions, but that's a different topic for a different day. We can also go down a rabbit hole of how people are just adding smut in their books just to pander towards the majority of the book talk audience because again those are the videos that get pushed out the most and those are the videos that get the most views if that, that's the whole thing and then people are adding smut into plots where it doesn't need to be there and it's a whole fucking thing i'm not gonna get into that that's not what this video is about if the roles were reversed in this scenario the outcome would have been 10 times worse and it would have been raps for everybody involved like we clearly understand that a bunch of grown ass men thirsting over a 13 year old girl is wrong but for whatever reason that same courtesy isn't extended towards grown women who are doing this to a 16 year old boy like what's the difference here people it's the same thing but for whatever reason when women are preying upon men, people for whatever reason, due to gender roles, you know, I know why this isn't being taken as seriously as if the roles were reversed. Like I understand why, I just don't think it's right. These women who are caught up in the fiction that they read, they, they refused to do the easiest thing they could do, which was age check this fucking child. So let this be a reality check to some people because you shouldn't be that comfortable saying disgusting shit to people who clearly aren't inviting you to do so, especially if they're not inviting you to do so. Like, I don't know when we started becoming comfortable just saying this, and it's not just women. It's not, it's not just this scenario too. This happens all the fucking time. Like, you know that stupid trend on TikTok where men were, they were commenting, oh God, what was, I don't know if it was like hex codes or something, but they were commenting like color shades or color, codes and it's various shades of pink 
And they would do this under women's posts because they were guessing the color of that woman's genitalia. Just unprovoked on a Tuesday afternoon under this random post of a girl doing just whatever. She's, it doesn't even matter what the fuck she's doing. She could be doing laundry and men would come under like these women's comments and just comment what they think that the, the color of their genitalia is. That is fucking disgusting. And this is, and this is just adding on to the fact that we as a society, people online for whatever reason, we're not equating, we're not thinking about the consequences of our actions. We're not understanding that the things that we say online are being told to real people in the way that we're interacting with each other is not normal and because of that barrier because of the screen barrier for whatever reason we feel so disconnected and so dissociated that we don't really understand the gravity of the things that we're saying and we don't think they're as severe or as harsh as they are because it's just words and you know i'm not even in person like i'm not even doing anything i'm not even touching them i'm not doing this and that and the third this is not normal these are not normal interactions we this is not how we're supposed to be treating each other but for whatever reason we have normal it and I don't like that. All the kid in that video said that he liked the Hunger Games and for whatever reason people thought that that was a green light to just say whatever the fuck they want to him and even though the boy actually made a follow-up video saying that like he pretty much considers all of these like thirst comments as jokes and he doesn't see the harm in them um doesn't it doesn't matter what he's it doesn't matter because that's the, no mm -mm, that's not how that works oh he said it's okay the child said it's okay for you to, 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 okay. You go tell that to a judge and come back to me and tell me what they say. What's that one clip from the amazing world of gumball? <laughs> Turn left, go out the mall, go down the street to the, to the, to the, to the, the closest police station and ask them the same question there. They'll have exactly what you need. Of course. So just walk straight out of the mall, turn left, go to the police precinct and ask the same question there. <laughs> They'll give you exactly what you need. Like literally go, go down to the police station and go tell them exactly what you just told me. And you, you see if that flies. I didn't think I would have to say this, but telling a boy to go read Haunting Adeline and come back to me when you're a man, uh, that's, that, uh, that is borderline grooming at best and literal grooming at worst. Hope this helps. But yeah, for the record though, this isn't a diss towards dark romance consumers. I occasionally read dark romance myself. So yeah, my issue isn't with the subgenre itself. I mean, a lot of people do have an issue with the subgenre and they have it, 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 their voices and their opinions are totally valid and it comes, I completely understand it. Me personally, that is not a battle I am willing to fight. So I'm gonna sit that one out. Yeah, it's it's not, my issue isn't with the subgenre though. It's with the people who irresponsibly interact and engage with the subgenre. You would think that grown ass women could handle themselves and know the difference between right and wrong and you know understand boundaries and understand where the line is, but I guess I was asking too much. <laughs> God forbid I expect adults to act like fucking adults and be responsible. <laughs> Whoops. I'll never make that mistake again. Don't worry guys. But yep, that's uh that's all I got for you today. So yeah. Sorry I haven't been uploading that much. Uh to my defense you scare me. So <laughs> yeah, I just haven't been feeling that inspired lately, but I do have a second channel though, and I am pretty consistent over there. So if you miss me so much and you really want to see me, then go check out my second channel, The Amazing World of Gumstar. It's a mouthful, but it's fun over there, I promise. I upload like a variety of different content over there. Uh, I do like more chill, laid back commentary videos over there, a little like less edited, but it's whatever. I also even make videos that are book related because again, that's kind of been my thing lately. I've been reading <laughs> on, on the channel, I've been reading my first Colleen Hoover book over there and it's it's been an experience to say the least. So if you want to hear my opinions and do whatever, whatever, that's, that's what I've been doing lately. I, but again, that's not all I'm doing, but that's just one of the few things I've been doing over there. So if that interests you, that'll be down in the description as well as all of my other social medias as well. Um, I also have a little announcement to make. Ah! So some of you guys have been experiencing FOMO because I talk about my Discord server without actually giving you access to my Discord. So for the first 48 hours that this video is up, I will have a link that will give you access to the server. If you're watching this video and it's already been like 
two days or over two days or the link is expired whatever point is you can't get in um tough tits <laughs> no i'm joking no 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 don't worry uh the next time i upload a video on this channel there will be another link that'll be up for an additional 48 hours. So you're just, you know, it's, it's kind of a be there or be square kind of situation here. So mm, snooze, you lose, whatever. Listen, don't, don't get pissy at me. Originally, I was gonna put the link behind a paywall, but I decided not to do that. So you're welcome. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, like the video, like the person, subscribe to the video, subscribe to the person, do whatever you want. I don't care. Again, I already said this earlier, but I'm gonna say it again. All of the links to my social medias will be down in the description, second channel. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, uh, the Discord, like I also said, uh, just whatever. I'm, I'm all, I'm every, I'm everything, everywhere, all at once, all the time. And I'll see you when I see you. You can go now.